Let's talk about the first thing that anyone will notice about your YouTube video, the thumbnail. Now the thumbnail and the title play a major role in deciding whether someone will be clicking on your video or not, unless you're Peter McKinnon and all of your videos are just total bangers. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create the perfect thumbnail with the least amount of time and effort using some of the tools that are available on the web for free. Now it's not necessary that you have to use Photoshop only for creating the thumbnails. A lot of the creators do, but it's not a thumb rule. And especially if you don't own a copy of Photoshop, this is the way to go. Last week I did a similar video talking about how you can use the Photos app that's available on Windows for free to edit your videos without using Premiere Pro. If you're interested in that, the link to it will be up here somewhere. Now getting to the free tools that are available on the web that you can use to create your own thumbnails. The two most widely used are Adobe Spark and Canva. I prefer Canva over Adobe Spark and that's what I'll be using for this video. Now both of these are great tools and both of them have the thumbnail template built in so you can just start creating your thumbnail right away. So let's try to create a new YouTube thumbnail on Canva. And we'll be creating the talking head thumbnail which is the most common one that you see on YouTube. So the talking head is just the torso of the person and on the empty side you have whatever text you want there to be. Maybe just the title of the video itself. So to start with the talking head, you need a base photo. And what I prefer doing is just taking a few photos at the end of the recording or I just pause the video I recorded at a point of time and take a screenshot just to have something to work with. Now talking about the composition of the thumbnail itself, it's important that you place the subject while keeping the rule of thirds in your mind. Now the rule of thirds is merely a suggestion when you're recording your videos or taking photos but when it comes to thumbnails, it works just perfectly. Now keeping the explanation of the rule of thirds short, I just took a screenshot from the video I just recorded as the base photo for my thumbnail and I've opened it up in Lightroom. Now if I go and click on the crop option of Lightroom, you'll notice that it drops an overlay on top of the photo, which divides the frame into nine equal parts using two horizontal and two vertical equidistant lines. Now you must definitely have seen this before, Almost every modern day camera allows you to enable this overlay so you can frame your subject better. Now according to the rule of thirds, you must place the subject of the photo on one of the intersections of the two lines. In total there are four intersections, two on the top and two on the bottom. Now specifically for the thumbnails, if you want your subject to fit well in the frame, you should be placing your subject on the intersection in the upper thirds. Now let me try to crop this photo a little bit and I'll try to keep the middle of the eyes on the upper right third. Here you go. And now the composition of the thumbnail looks much better. My next step will be to save this photo and upload it on Canva where I'll be adding more elements and text to a thumbnail. Now you can just Google Canva and open the first link that comes up. On the home page, you have the option to sign up for free using your Google or Facebook account. Once you have created your account on Canva, you just need to search for YouTube thumbnail and click on the first option that comes up. Now, if you notice, the resolution of the thumbnail is mentioned as 1280 into 720 pixels, which is the standard recommended thumbnail size. After clicking on it, it will take you to a page where there are more than 1700 templates that you can pick from, or you can just create one from scratch. So I'll be creating a new one from scratch and I'll just click on this empty thumbnail over here. Now that will take me to the editor where the first thing that I'll do is go to the upload section and upload my thumbnail. Now once the image is done uploading, I'll just drag and drop it to the main canvas and I'll resize it to fit the canvas. Now for all of my thumbnails, I like to add some border to it. So I'll go to the element section and just click on rectangle. If it's not readily available here, you can just search for rectangle. And then you just need to select the rectangle which only has a border and is not filled. Now you can resize this rectangle to fit your thumbnail. You can change the color of the border by clicking here and picking a color that pops out more. This looks good enough to me. 
So once the borders are done, I'll just keep the thumbnail simple and add some text over it. Now before adding some text, I just like to add a few rectangles as a background for the text. So I'll just go back to elements, search for rectangles again. And I'll start by placing the rectangles where I need the texts. And move it up here. Now just to add some 3D effect, I'll make a copy of this rectangle and I'll change the color of the one that's in the background to white. Now to add some text, I'll just go to the text section. Now here you'll notice there are some presets available for free and the rest of them are paid. But just to keep things simple, I'll just create a new heading and I'll give the title of this video, which is creating a YouTube thumbnail. Now you can select your text and obviously change the font to whatever style you like. And then again, just like your shapes, you can rotate it and move it around. So once I'm done adding all the text that I need on the thumbnail, what I like to do is go to the effects section and add some shadow to the text so that it pops out a little bit. And then also you can change the color of the text if you want. And once you feel that everything is done, you can just go to download and here you can change the file type to JPEG and that is basically it. And now whenever you're uploading the video, you can add this custom thumbnail. If you think this video helped you out in any way, please consider liking and sharing the video and subscribe to this channel for future videos. And I'll see you guys the next time.